from uh, Brad Street all the way east to 83. Flames everywhere. Could you close the blinds? I can't see the TV. What's the point? I'd like to be able to see the TV. I mean, why waste the little time we have watching TV? We could just talk. I'm really not in the mood for talking, okay? Just want to sit back. TV. I could tell you about the time when I. What about uh? No. This discovery can only be explained by special cells in the extraterrestrial's blood giving them the ability to mutate at will. They can now take human form. Holy shit! What? The TV announcer guy just said. Be an English class with the announcer. Son. He just said that aliens could take human form. That's. Oh my god. I know, right? That means anyone could be an alien. Yeah. Dude, I bet hell of an alien. <laughs> the announcer could be a freaking alien. Yeah. You could be an alien. No. What the hell, dude? What? Don't you trust that I'm me? I don't know. How am I supposed to know if you are you or not? Are you really going to do this? Do what? Now that I think about it, you have been acting a lot different lately. Like, oh yeah, because that has nothing to do with the fact that there's a freaking alien invasion going on. Yeah, they probably abducted the real you. Are you serious? Of course I'm going to act differently if I know that there's an alien invasion going on. Half of the people I know are dead. I'm probably going to die too. And how do I know that you're not an alien? Of course I'm not an alien. I don't know that. So? I don't know that about you. Alien wouldn't know what you did at my 11th birthday party. What did I do? So you are an alien. Uh, what the hell kind of question is, what did you do at my 11th birthday party? I remember it vividly. Do you need a freaking hint? Oh, uh, yeah, that'd be helpful. Well, you ruined the party. Did I? It's not coming back to me. Does the phrase projectile vomiting all over my birthday cake that my mother slayed Oh, don't. my God. You always do this. You always twist stories around so that you're the victim. You would dare me to drink like a gallon of soda and then you told me that I had to do it because you were the birthday boy. I didn't force you to and what the hell do you mean by I always do this? You literally always make yourself the victim in every single story that you tell. I would argue with you but it would be pointless to argue with an alien. You can't just keep calling me an alien to ignore what I'm saying. Countless examples of you doing this right off the top of my head. Like that time when you crashed your bike into me and broke my arm and then you were only upset because it was so terrible that you had to buy a new bike. I said I was sorry. And that time you got me suspended? I apologize for that too, you never listened and to me. even my parents divorced. How is that my fault? All you could complain about was how awful it was for you because you couldn't see me on the weekends anymore. Well, I'm sorry for being upset by your absence. Yeah, as if you were the only one upset in that situation. Dude, I'm sorry, okay? Yeah. Wow, way to be a dick. Oh, I'm the dick? At least I'm not the attention whore. I'm this close to punching you in the face. Oh, aren't you worried it'd be pointless because you'd just be punching an alien? No, I really hope it's you. I wouldn't even mind you knowing that you could be an alien because if you were an alien, then that probably means the real you is long gone!